Hi everybody and big welcome to CDH Tea Time with a combo explained of the Dragon Saw combo. So the Hoarding Broodlord is a 8 mana, 3 black and 5 generic for a 7-6 six, Convoke and Flying. Now you can use creatures to actually cause it because it has Convoke. Now we're going to talk about how to ETB this thing later but... When the Hoarding Broodlord enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, exile it face down, then shuffle. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may play it. Spells you cast from exile have Convoke. So it has a very nice synergy with Saw in Hand. This is a free mana instant, black and two generic, destroy target creature. That creature dies this way, its controller creates two tokens. That are copies of that creature except their power and toughness are halved. So with this you would basically create two Hoarding Broodlords and you will double its ETB. So when you get your first Hoarding Broodlord ETB, you search out Saw in Half. And you use the Hoarding Broodlord by tapping it to pay for the black mana in Saw in Half. So from here you just need to figure out a way to generate the two other generic mana. You can actually use creatures here because... Hoarding Broodlord is giving this spell Convoke, so that could help out a tiny bit, but you do need to pay some mana here for it, at the very least. Regardless, with the two Hoarding Broodlord ETB effects, we are going to find the two cards first, Burnt Offering, and here into the Abyss. I guess I should mention that you could find Sacrifice instead of Burnt Offering, but there's an upside by having Burnt Offering instead, because you can generate red mana from that as well. So begin with tapping one of the Hoarding Broodlords to pay and cost for the Burnt Offering utilizing Convoke, sacrificing the tapped dragon. This is going to generate black and or red mana to your mana pool equal to that very expensive dragon's mana cost, so that's a lot of mana. Peer into the abyss costs 7. Now utilize the other Hoarding Broodlord and maybe some other creatures to pay or appear into the abyss. Now you're probably not going to have enough creatures to pay the convoke cost, but with the burnt offering, you're able to pay the rest. So if you only have Hoarding Broodlord and Burnt Offering, you're going to keep two mana here, which means that you can keep something like a black and red, or red red, or a black black. I recommend black red, because once your peer into the abyss resolves, you're probably going to have dark rituals and dock sides and other red rituals inside your deck potentially an underworld breach, and having that black red means that you could cast your dockside or your breach post the peer into the abyss. And from here you basically win, do whatever you want. In general, if you're able to draw like half of your deck with a peer into the abyss, you should be able to figure out A from a win with either like Fasas Oracle or an underworld breach combo of swords, but like yeah, you're winning the game from this point. The Hoarding Broodlord, together with Saw in Half, is basically a combo assembler. That's it, that's the big trick. But now we need to talk about how we're actually going to it be this thing. So first and foremost, it is a dragon. So we could utilize Magda. But if you have five or more treasures, you can sacrifice those and find the Hoarding Broodlord with Magda. And then you could utilize Magda to pay for some of the Convoke things. But also when Magda taps by pay utilizing Convoke, you generate a treasure. Now obviously this doesn't work if Magda is the commander because Holding Broodlord is black, so that's outside of your color identity. But if you have Magda inside your 99, if she's the position, then she's a good option. Magda is actually, in my opinion, a kind of decent card for some 99s. Because of the fact that whenever she becomes tapped by basically attacking, she generates treasures. That's pretty good. Another option would be to go with Kalia of the Vast as the commander, because when she attacks, you can directly slam the big dragon into play. Now, they're both gonna be tapped as they are attacking, and that's actually how Kalia is worded, which means that they can't you be used in the convoking stuff. However, you haven't really paid anything so far, so you should have a lot of mana remaining to do whatever you want with your saw in half. So basically, if you just have Hoarding Broodlord in your hand and you're going to combat with Kalia, you win the game. That's pretty good. Another option is Scion of the Ur Dragon. Now this creature has actually gotten a few upgrades here and there as other dragons that are pretty cool have been printed. 
that generate either a lot of treasures or a lot of card draw. Ordering Broodlord is a great option for that deck because this is a great target for reanimate. Sign of Dew Dragon is basically entombed inside the command zone. Now, you're not gonna generate the ETB effect when you activate Sign of the Ur Dragon. Now, it's gonna gain the text, but it's not gonna trigger the ETB. So, you're gonna have the ability spells you cast from exile have Convoke. However, you need to have a reanimator effect. Speaking of which, takes us to the classic black stuff where you go entomb and reanimate, and in this case, win the game. Or, well, in this specific case, it is a four mana win copy. Actually, it's more like three mana because you can entomb in your last opponent's end step as it's an instant. Go to your turn, pay one black mana for reanimate, get Holding Brewlord into play, get Saw in Half into the exile, and then you just need to generate two more mana to win the game with the Saw in Half Holding Brewlord into Pure into the Abyss combo, so to speak. But it's still pretty good. If you're going this route, you have other great options like Villis to reanimate or Rasakef to reanimate. Basically just adding Hoarding Broodlord as another option as well. There is another weird thing we could actually do, and that's Polymorph. You have a few red spells that can actually polymorph a creature. So if you're playing like a Rakdos Polymorph and you want to have a fast combo here, then yeah, you have a Dragon Finish. I actually don't recommend this. I don't think this is like a good option. Like, there are better Polymorph targets in general, but I thought I should mention the option at the very least. In general, it's a pretty decent combo. When I first saw it, I didn't think that much about it. It's a very expensive dragon, in my opinion, for a demonic tutor, basically. But it synergizes greatly when you're making two copies of it with the Saw in Half. Without Saw in Half, this would be a very expensive dragon. But Saw in Half basically completes it. It is not a combo that is going to revolutionary the CDH format. It's like an option for decks that are looking for a reanimator wing con of sorts. And honestly, the package is really small. In general, it fits perfect inside reanimator decks, usually on Grixis. You just want to include Magda for value reasons that couldn't have a problem, including a big dragon and a saw in half as well. I hope you liked the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.